Hi guys, so this morning I am here with like crazy crazy breakouts, please don't mind them. Um, uh, I don't know if the breakouts are from a foundation that I'm trying um, or if it's just from like my birth control because my skin has been crazy. Um, but I am here this morning to do a video for you that I've been kind of excited about doing. Um, I did a poll on Instagram and asked if you guys wanted to see this kind of video and the majority, I think it was like 70% of you guys said yes. Um, so I am here today, let me pull it out. <laughs> with like this big giant box, big box of Amazon stuff. Um, and this video is like an Amazon dupes video. And so I basically went on Amazon and I spent hours looking for makeup that may dupe some of the makeup that I have. One thing in here I've never had, um, but I've swatched in the store and stuff, but I just thought it was kind of a cool dupe to pass up. Um, but so these are all things that I think may be a dupe as far as packaging or description goes for a product. Um, it is not a full face, so we are going to just kind of do pieces here and there. Um, but if you're interested to see this video and like what happens, please, please, please continue okay. to watch. So I have primed my eyes. Um, now I will show you the palettes that I have. Um, the first one I do have like the actual original, but... This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, I'm sure everybody knows what it looks like at this point. I will open it in a second. But this is the palette that I saw on Amazon. And this is called the Beauty Glazed Impress You palette. And this just says pressed powdered eyeshadow. And when I saw the inside of this, I thought that it basically looked like a dupe for the Jaclyn Hill palette as far as um, color layout. There are no like actual shimmer glitter shadows like the Jaclyn Hill palette but there are some shadows with like a little bit of a sheen like this one right here. This is the Beauty Glaze palette and this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. Now as you could tell there are shimmers like I said so it's not the exact same but the layout of it is pretty much similar with the blues, the greens, the neutrals, the pinks. Um, there's 35 in here and there is 35 in here. Yeah, so there's the same amount of shadows in each one. These shadows are uh, significantly smaller but um, I'm going to try this palette today, obviously. Um, I will rotate between this one and the other palette that I'm going to show you. The other palette that I'm going to show you, I've never used. Like, I don't have it at home. Um, I never bought it. But I've swatched it in the store and I've read, like, multiple reviews on it. And this is the Twilight palette from Amazon. And it's called, it's from You Can Be Twilight and Dusk palette. And to me, this looks like the Rose Gold Remastered or the Rose Gold palette from Huda Beauty. As you could tell, like, it literally looks, to me, the exact same with the shimmers. And I think, honestly, the colors are almost exactly on. Um, I want to look up the names of them after I finish this video because... I want to say that I think the names are similar too because this shadow is Nefertiti and I want to say that there is a shadow Nefertiti in the palette. Again, I don't have it so I don't know. Um, I did swatch these already so I kind of know like how they swatch at least. But we're going to go ahead and get into the video um, right now. But the thing I wanted to show you quickly, all of these brushes here. I have all these brushes here that I will be using within the video as well. And let me just pull one out so I could show you. I figured that these were almost an exact dupe for the Tarte brushes. Like literally same exact packaging, which is crazy to me that you can buy something on Amazon and it's literally the same packaging as like a Tarte brand or something like that and they don't get in trouble for it. Like I don't know how that works exactly. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to rotate within the video with these brushes too. The eye brushes, they're not that impressive. Like this is the um, blending brush and everything like that. I'm thinking that on this side of my face, so my right, your left, I'm going to be trying out um, these brushes and then I will use my brushes on the other side I guess just so we can see how they perform and I also want to give the shadows a fair chance so I will use my brushes as well because sometimes maybe they won't work because of the brushes but I just wanted to show you those um this palette I'm gonna link all the prices I'll put it on the bottom screen and then I will also link the products below I want to say this palette was $9.99 or $8 and this palette was $11.49 the brushes were I think $10 so um in total I spent $90 um but I also got lights for my mirror so really I think like 70 bucks of it was makeup but i'm gonna go ahead and just the start first thing eye. i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the beauty glaze palette and i am going to take this um amazon brush and i'm going to take the shade right here there is no names on the shade so we're just gonna have to work with it but this is like a warm brown shade and i'm gonna just pop this into my crease and none of these palettes have mirrors so i will be using my Too faced just peachy mattes mirror um but i picked up a decent amount of product i am gonna just tap it off yeah it's powdery um, so let's see how it performs on the eye. Hmm. 
honestly, off first swipe, I like, I obviously can tell and I know you could tell because I could see, this is super pigmented. And it's blending beautifully. And the brush is working really nicely. I think it's giving me, it's a loose brush, so obviously it's giving me a nice blown out effect. Um, I am going to take that same color on my Morphe brush that I always use and I'm going to see how it applies also. Hmm. So again, off first impression, I'm feeling as though weirdly enough I like this eye with that brush better than I do the Morphe brush the Morphe brush seems to be this eye again like I've said is the, the, the like dry eye so I have a patch right here that doesn't really pick up product but that brush seems to have laid I'm gonna close my eyes this side with the dupe brush seems to have laid it down a lot smoother than this side um so that's interesting go back in with the um Amazon brush and I'm gonna take this like yellowy mustard shade right here and I'm gonna put this in the crease as well um, I'm gonna go into the next palette in a second because I want to throw some like pinks in there just because like I said pinks are a little bit harder to do and I will obviously try the glitters in the other palettes um, but I just want to take this yellow and apply it in the crease this is so pretty I'm actually so surprised right now um I didn't, I guess, plan that I would like these shadows. So I am going in on the side with the yellow. And I feel like, I'm going to come closer, I feel like this side looks smoother and more blended. And I feel like this side looks patchy. Picking up the yellow as much. I think the other eye looks much better. Which is funny because these are my favorite brushes and things like that. Um, but for $10, I was like, I'm going to try these. Because I loved the mermaid brushes from Tarte anyway. I have to take a sip of my coffee. By the way, it's pumpkin season, so we are in that. My brother got me a pumpkin coffee this morning, and I was like, yes. Okay, so I'm going to switch palettes now, and I'm going to go into the Twilight Dusk palette. Um, again, it looks just like this. I think what I'm going to do, the thing about the, these brushes, though, they don't have many crease brushes, so I have to keep using the same crease brush. I get my like color switch thing here, and I'm just going to rub the brush in it so I can kind of get some of this color off before I start with a new palette and a new formula same thing with my morphe brush i'm just gonna clean this off this takes off all shadow usually um and then you just clean the bottom of it once in a while um so the next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go in with i don't know if i want to go gold or pink with this i really like the way the golds are looking but i'm gonna do the pink i'm gonna go in with this pink right here and this is the shade twilight and i'm just gonna put this like there's some kickback um and it's very powdery when I just brush it off. But I'm just going to put this in like the lower part of my crease right before I put on some glitter. And this will be the real test. Wow. Do you guys see that? Okay. I'm sold. <laughs> this shadow is beautiful it is applying beautifully it is blending beautifully um the only thing I will say that is a negative is this brush I think if you're gonna do a full eye look I would buy a different set of brushes um this is good for like a quick blend like if I was just doing my everyday makeup where I threw one color in my crease this would be a beautiful amazing brush for that um it kind of blends the colors together so we're getting a little bit muddy um you're losing kind of the those top crease shades because of the way this blends there's this brush right here it's a flat brush i'm going to try to just soften up the edges of the pink so that we don't lose that yellow and that orange um but yeah, this is beautiful. I'm actually extremely impressed. I'm going to take this Morphe brush and I'm going to dip this into that shade Twilight and I'm going to tap off the excess and I'm just going to put it in the lower crease. Now see, yeah, this is a more dense crease brush and you can see it doesn't look as muddy because I can apply it lower in the crease without worrying. So this is ideally what I would want it to look like. This is a little bit more blown out. But, because like I said, the size of the brush, it makes it a little hard, but it's not something unbearable. I am going to put concealer on my eyes, and I am going to go in with a shimmer shade, and then we will see. 
Okay, so I have put concealer um, on my eyes now. So I am going to go back in with this palette. What I've decided to do is I'm going to go in with um, this shade right here, Amber, and then Eden, I think, because I want to test them out, both of them. Um, I'm going to take this flat brush from the um, Amazon Dupes collection. I'm going to take the shade Amber right here, and it's just like a pinky glitter shade. I swatched these with my fingers. They looked pretty good. Um, and this... So the Huda Beauty shadows, I had heard, and when I swatched them, they felt very uh, wet, and Huda said to apply them with a finger. I'm going to try with the brush first, and we'll see kind of the same thing that I would do. Um, but, yeah, wow, okay. So, I don't know if you could tell in the corner, this is really pigmented. Um, there is a decent amount of fallout in the pan. Um, there's a little bit on my face, nothing crazy. These are, oh, wow. Okay. They literally look like foiled. Like, look at that. I'm going to try with my finger a little bit. I'll just take it on my finger like that. My nails are a tad bit shorter, so it's kind of good right now. Um, I feel like it applies evenly, the same, a little bit. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of Fix Plus, because I want to just see if we could intensify I don't feel like it needs to be intensified at all but just for the sake of the video um I'm gonna take it like this and I'm just gonna spray fix plus on it and pat this into my eyeball wow so yeah the fix plus intensifies it but to be honest with you it literally looks like foiled like shadow like liquid right now without the fix plus um this brush is nice it's applying it nicely i'm going to take my color swatch and just take it off and i'm going to go into the shade right now here eden um i don't necessarily know how cute this is going to look this look but i just really want to try all the colors um these shadows look i don't know if i could get you close enough you see how they're like matted down compared to the ones that i've touched they're wet like they're like that wet consistency um they feel almost like a cream in the pan um but then when you swatch it it swatches like um a powder so i'm gonna go in with eden i'm gonna take a little bit on a brush and just kind of do the outside of my eye yeah okay so these are so pretty um i'm like a little obsessed right now eden is going on a little less foily a little bit more glittery I don't know if you could tell there's like more glitter in this one I'm gonna go in one more time with the brush and then I'm gonna try my finger and then I'm gonna try the fix plus same thing with it um but it's still going on beautifully so I'm gonna go with my finger now like that they feel like a little bit oily I guess that's what I would say not in the eyes but when you swatch it it feels a bit oily um okay I just like literally swatched under my eyeball yeah, so it applies a lot more intense, this color, with your finger. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go in for the video's purpose with Fix Plus. I don't necessarily think I would if I was just doing this on its own. Um, but literally, guys, my this is just like my light. I don't have a filter on my camera or anything. And you see how shiny this is? This is crazy. On a normal day, I would wear some of these matte shades in here with the light shimmers. There's like a shimmer I'll show you right here called o OUD, and this one's retrograde. I would put these right in the corner of my eye. I actually might, just to highlight, but, and a quick matte shade, which is probably what I'm going to do when I wash this off, because obviously I will not wear this all day. I'm going out, and I can't look like a disco queen at the mall. I mean, I can, but I'm just not feeling it today. Um, so I will try like a more simple look and I'm actually really impressed by this. I'm going to do this eye now with the ColourPop brush that I always use. Um, even though I really don't feel like I need to because I just basically showed you how great these were. Um, but I'm going to take the shade Amber again on the ColourPop brush. And there is some fallout, like I said, in the pan, you could see it. But I'm just going to use the ColourPop brush. I'm not going to do the Fix Plus and all that with this. But, um, okay, so off bat, the ColourPop brush spreads it a little bit easier than that other brush was, but I think it just has to do with the fact that there is a size difference in the brushes. This, let me pull, this is the Amazon one, and this is the ColourPop one, so together, you can see the ColourPop one is a little bit wider and a little bit more spread out, so obviously it's going to cover a little bit more surface area, um, 
so yeah, this is the shadow. It's beautiful. It's pigmented. I'm going to take that shade Eden on the same brush. And I'm just going to apply it to the outer portion. Um, huh. So with the ColourPop brush, it seems like it's not applying um, as pigmented at all, actually. The other brush seems to have been applying pigmented more. I'm going to try my finger. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. Um, I'm gonna take the ColourPop brush again with the shade Eden. It's so finely pressed that you have to really kind of work the product in to the brush and tap it on your eye. This yellow shade is definitely more glittery. I'm gonna be honest with you and, and fair warn you in that aspect that it's definitely a glittery shade. It's not so much like a shimmer foil like the other one. Um, I'm gonna try, like this is all the fallout in the palette, by the way, down here. I'm gonna try some Fix Plus, I think. Um, this brush might just not be as densely packed as far as the little brush goes, um, so it might just be applying the glitters a little differently. Um, it's not as, okay, yeah, so when you put the Fix Plus on, it foils it uh, much, much more. Um, so, I personally like this eye better than this eye. Um, I'm going to go in with my dupe brush and just kind of try to fix that. So yeah, the dupe brush is definitely applying it much more pigmented. I'm going to take that shade Amber on the dupe brush too and just kind of go in and clean up. I'm going to wet the brush with Eden. Just like before. The thing is, is I think that these would apply beautifully with your fingers, if you could. Um, I can't really go in with my fingers like that. I'm going to try again to show you guys. That is my finger. Sorry, I'm like flipping you off. Um, but yeah, your finger definitely is going to apply it like that. looks so much more foiled now. Your finger definitely is going to apply it better. But unfortunately, if you have fake nails like me, it's hard. So I decided not to do lashes and just to throw on some mascara. My family like wants to go somewhere and they called me in the middle of this. So I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can now because I have to do real makeup to go out and not look like this. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face and this is the Lunar Makeup Primer. And this um, online, let me see if it says the description. Yeah. So it says a light oil free serum formulated to even out skin tone while adding moisture. Um, it helps even the appearance of lines, blemishes, and priming your skin for makeup application. Um, I got this because I use the Hangover RX primer, and that is like a moisturizing primer, and I figured that these would be, um, similar in, like, uh, consistency or what they do. So it's just like a little serum bottle, and you have the squeezer applicator, and you're supposed to just apply it to the face like this. There was, like, instructions in an email when I bought it, um, and it says to do this and let it sit for three minutes. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put it on my face. I hope this doesn't make me break out anymore, but like my skin is crazy right now. So it doesn't really matter. And it feels like a little silicone-y, I'm going to be honest. Um, it, I'm going to be honest. It kind of smells like, it smells like, okay. I'm not going to say what it smells like. Micah's going to make my skin break out. So we're going to do it for the video. Um, it smells like jizz, I'm going to be honest. Ooh. I'm not lying, it actually does. And my face looks really red. Um, but that might just be from how I was rubbing it just now. I'm going to let this sit for three minutes and apply some foundation. And I will see So I am going to apply foundation. I am going to use this brush to um, stipple it onto my face or swipe it onto my face. I'm gonna use my same Too Faced one that I always use. Um, and I'm gonna use this brush to try to blend it out first. Uh, there's another foundation brush in this set, but the thing is, is it's very fluffy and dense. I would actually probably use that for like a powder. Um, so I'm gonna try to use this for foundation and just blend the foundation. Okay, so this brush is blending the foundation out pretty nicely. Um, it's obviously sucking up a bit of the product because it's super fluffy. Um, so I didn't expect it to not suck up some product because of the way it is. 
Uh, but it seems to be blending really nicely. I'm gonna go finish um, my concealer and all that. Uh, actually, I might not even, yeah, I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer. Set my face um, with some powder um, using these brushes and we'll see how I feel and then we will test some lipsticks. So I have concealed. I am going to take this brush, which is just like the flat top brush. This is probably for foundation, um, but I didn't like how fluffy it was and I liked the other brush better. But I'm just going to take my Laura Mercier powder in the shade number two and I'm going to use this to set my face. Um, it seems to be picking up some decent amount of product. Um, I'm just going to use this on my whole face, to be honest, uh, instead of using another brush because I seem to really like the way these brushes work. This isn't as fluffy um so it's kind of actually hard to set my face i'm gonna try this brush uh to set my face this is more of a fluffier powder brush and this i think will be yeah this is easier to set my face it's covering more of a um surface area i'm gonna try that other brush for my bronzer possibly um that's also a foundation brush so i may try it for foundation one day but this is just like i always do this as a light set um to kind of give myself some glow it definitely has set my face. Um, honestly, I'm really liking this primer. It has filled in my lines here. I don't look cakey at all. It's actually covering up these pores right here. I won't use it again because uh, there's mica in it. I can't use mica, like no exceptions. Um, it will destroy my skin, so I definitely won't use this primer again. But if you don't have skin allergies like I do, then I would definitely suggest trying it. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. And I'm just going to take the Butter Bronzer, and this is in the shade Deep. Um, this is a deep version. I just got this yesterday, and I really like it. Um, I'm going to take that flat top brush again, and we're going to try it. We'll see how it works. Hmm. So I think it's applying the bronzer pretty nicely. Um, it's got enough give to it that, like I said, I really don't think I would use this for foundation. Because I feel like it would just move the product around too much instead of really, like letting it sink into the skin. For bronzer, it seems to be doing a pretty nice job. And I'm gonna use this for my blush. And with the sleek blush that I always use, and this is in rose gold, take this blush, uh, this brush, this seems like a good blush brush. And I'm just gonna apply this to the apples of my cheeks. I use like weird brushes for things. Like they don't always look like that's what they're for, but I like it and it gives, it, these brushes have like a nice give. Um, I'm definitely keeping these. I actually might order, they had another one, like an eye brush set with more eye brushes. I might actually order that one next. Um, but so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to test out, I'm, I'm going to just throw some mascara on my bottom lashes and then I will come back and I will show you these like Kylie lip kit dupe thing. So I am quickly going to go back into this Huda Beauty dupe palette and I'm going to take this shade right here which is called Retrograde on this flat brush and I'm just going to highlight under my brow bone. Um, I don't know if this is necessarily the best brush to do it uh, but we're going to try it anyway. Oh yeah that's so 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 pretty. I'm like obsessed right now. I'm putting it in the corner too even though I said I wasn't going to. I lied. Okay, I'm like really excited that I found this palette, I'm gonna be honest, because I wanted the Huda Beauty palette, but after so many mixed reviews and like so many people saying they didn't know if they loved it or like saying you had to work with it, and I'm thinking like, I think the palette is like 65 bucks, and I was like, I'm not paying 65 bucks for eyeshadow. This one is literally 10. I'm gonna actually try to use this as a highlighter. There is no brush in this kit that I would use as a highlighter because the one I would have used as a highlighter brush is, oh. There's this brush I could use for my inner corner too. Let's try that. Oh yeah, this brush is much better. Okay, shade retrograde on that brush and I'm gonna just highlight my cheeks. Oh my God, that's so pretty. You know what I'm actually interested if they have like a, oh, freak, oh my God, look at that. Okay, I'm actually interested to see if they have a Huda Beauty highlight palette dupe on Amazon. So now we're gonna try the Kylie Lip Kit dupe. Just gonna show you, this is the package on the back. They literally look like exact dupes. I'm gonna pull, this is my real Kylie lip gloss. Like that's the packaging for the dupes. They say Dragon on them, not Kylie. Um, but this package was $19.99 um, and it comes with, I think, yeah, 16 liquid lipsticks. So let me pull them all out for you. So this is all of them. Probably put on this, pink shade right here um yeah mm. 
I don't want to go for like a super neutral color because I always wear neutrals and I want you guys to actually see what they look like. Yeah, I'm going to go for this color. And um, this is the shade number six and it just says matte liquid lipstick. Um, and they just have a normal. Okay, we're not going to use this one because it's stuck in the package. There's no thing. All right, so that's a no, I guess. We'll pick a different one. Maybe that is God telling me to go neutral. I don't want to. I really Okay, I'm going to put on this like light neutral pink one and then I'm going to add a metallic over it, um, a metallic pink. So this is the shade number one. Let's see. Okay, this one has an applicator. So it's just a doe foot applicator and I'm going to just put it on. They honestly smell like the Kylie Liquid Lipsticks, like that cakey smell. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna bring you up close. There is no patchiness right now. Um, they went on beautifully. It's not super thick. I think it looks really good. I'm really impressed by this whole entire haul so far. Um, as this is drying on my lips, it is sticky. Dried. My lips are sticky, like they're sticking together, but there's no transfer so I'm kind of like a little how do I feel I don't know I'm gonna add a shimmer to it just so you guys can see the shimmers too because I swatched one of the shimmers that looked really cool um I'm gonna add this like red shimmer and this is the shade number nine I'm just gonna hit that right over this um adding the shimmer to it and my lips feel really sticky like if you're gonna kiss somebody with this and stuff you're gonna be sticky um, and I don't, I don't really like that. This one smells kind of like a cleaning product. Now these are from China, I will tell you that. Um, so you have to be careful with stuff like this because Kylie has said before, like, their liquid lipsticks from other places that, like, do per are not good ingredients. Like, they have glue in them and stuff like that, which is probably what's in this, to be honest. But I'm doing it for you guys, um, so you could see and not waste your money if it's not good. Um, yeah. These are crazy, crazy sticky. I don't like them. Um, they applied really pretty at first, but now it kind of just looks like I made out with somebody for eight hours, and my lips are kind of like... Yeah, it's a no. Um, for these lipsticks for me, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I don't like them. I can't do it. I'm really picky about lipstick. Um, if you are not picky about the stickiness, I think that these are fine. They look like a blotted lip more than a liquid lip. But if that's what you like, you could totally do this. Um, they're not stinging. They don't burn. Um, I was afraid that that was going to happen. Oh, look. Um, I'm super impressed with the eyeshadow palette. Super, super impressed with the brushes. Um, I would definitely recommend them. I would totally, like, if anything, buy this palette out of this whole thing. Buy this. I'm going to go see if they have a highlight palette. Um, and the brushes are awesome. The Jaclyn Hill As far as the cool. primer goes... Um, I actually really like the way it makes my skin look like I'm going to get up close. I look super blurred in this area. I can't use it because I can't use the mica in it. Um, it will break out my skin. But if you are not allergic to mica, I would totally recommend it. I think the primer was 10 bucks too, so that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had really like a lot of fun filming this video. This is something new and I've always wanted to do it. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will link all products down below and I hope you guys enjoy your day. Bye.